Hello and welcome. This is Nolan Formulary with Discover NC Homes and Nolan's News. And today I have Tyler French here with me from Catalyst Home Inspection. Tyler, thank you for, for coming and uh, joining us. Absolutely. Appreciate thank it. Thank you for having me. Definitely. Um, we use him quite a bit as a home inspector. Tyler is very knowledgeable. Um, what I personally like about him is he takes his time to explain to my clients uh, the things that could potentially be hazardous or wrong with the home that they're buying. He does a great job of that. Uh, but he is here today to talk to us about uh, certain items that seem to come up in a home inspection no matter what year the home is built, uh, no matter how new, old, uh, what style it is. So, so thank you, Tyler, for you know talking about some of these hot buttons and maybe why they come up in home inspections. Sure, yeah, you know, like, like Nolan said, uh, no matter the age, no matter the type, uh, all homes seem to have similar issues that are reoccurring. They do. Uh, uh, GFCIs, which is a ground fault current interrupter, okay. uh, is an outlet that we see that uh, prevents arcs from, um, from forming from uh, water connectivity with, uh, you know, or exposure to, to yes. water. Um, I know so, we see those in bathrooms, kitchens a lot. Bathrooms, kitchens, exteriors, garage. So that's something that uh, we're always on the lookout for to make sure that those are working and working properly. Um, kind of a secondary uh, uh, issue is, is uh, uh, failed seals. A lot of windows uh, in the coastal area kind of suffer a lot of wind and rain from hurricanes from from you know just being where we are geographically yeah that makes sense and, um, I, and I think is it the flex that breaks like the flex from wind that will break the seal yeah yeah so those are usually two panes of glass and when that wind really pushes against that glass you we start to see cracking and 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 essentially uh efficiency loss in okay the yeah and i know they i mean i explain them as fog they're fog they look fogged sure sure so, condensation is getting trapped in between that glass and, I got you. and uh it's it will distort the the picture okay so gfci's fog windows what else uh, let's see again kind of in the same lane uh uh with wind and rain events uh plumbing vents and properly sealing flashing yes uh, on any roof uh surface is very important um uh, i think there's a misconception that just because um, you know, uh, if there's a downhill slope on a roof, water can't go up, yes. which is not the case with okay. wind and rain combined. Water can get up and into things. That's true. So it's very important to have those things sealed off and, and, and tightened up. Yeah. I know another thing too, that I see come up quite a bit, um, is either the siding is too close to the roof mm -hmm. or there's not the proper flashing that seems to come up on almost every you know whether it's your company or another company that seems to come up as a reoccurring on home inspections sure can you speak to that a little bit sure yeah you know uh um you know uh siding in, in its nature is designed to keep you know water and, and wind and, and and rain away from the sheathing of the house um that's important to keep that kind of locked in and and, and sealed down um to prevent Water from getting behind walls, uh, that's where we kind of start to see around chimneys, things like that. Uh, if that's not kept, uh, uh, you know, or properly installed. Yeah, that makes sense. Know, we, uh, we see those quite, uh, I mean, I, as well, yeah. I agree. So just to recap again, we're, we're uh, almost any, every home inspection I look at, whether it's, whether it's your company or anyone else's, GFCIs come up all the time. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if I've, even on a new home, had one without a window seal coming up. Sure. Um, definitely flashing around vent pipe boots mm -hmm. and uh, just in general flashing on roofs maybe not being done correctly. But, Absolutely. I mean, these are all fairly inexpensive items to correct and are they worrisome? You know, I think it's it's a basic safety concern that it's a very uh, easy box to check. Yeah. Um, so I would say it's worrisome. You always want to keep your home safe, and especially uh, you know on the market, it's going to help maintain its value sure. when these things are taken care of. So yeah, uh, and just make for a smoother uh, 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 home sale process. So no, I agree. Uh, I think it's important to stay in front of it and 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 keep your house in great shape. Wonderful. Well, Tyler, thank you. Appreciate yeah. you joining us. Yeah. Thank you, Noel. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Wonderful.